toilet was leaning. There was some obvious rot going on. So uh, water's off, toilet's out. Started removing layers of flooring one at a time. Uh, the last layer is this three-quarter slat board, which uh, that dark spot's got to come out. Um, there was a laminate floor on top of a thin tile floor, uh, on top of five-eighths plywood, on top of that three-quarter slat board. So the flange is in good shape. Uh, we can leave that. Every house is a little different as far as subfloors go. That's why I said just uh, take your time and remove one layer uh, at a time while you're you know digging into this thing uh, the screws aren't into anything um, yeah it's just all rotten so I'm just pulling these screws out uh, cleaning off as you go I'm taking these boards out one chunk at a time don't try hacking all this stuff out at once uh, just take your time um, some of them are falling out and some of it you got to pry on and a couple pieces ahead to cut so like I said, just take your time and, um, you know, pace yourself. Don't get in a hurry because that's when accidents happen. Uh, this board here, I was going to cut it, but I th I'm going to redo that shut off. Uh, so I'm just going to cut the pipe off, pull it, pull it out that way. Um, that supply line, I'm going to cut it below the floor and uh, extend it up a few inches, four or five inches, um, just to have a little bit of extra pipe for if you ever have to work on it. In the future get that cleaned off there's uh, I put a shark bite under there just because it's a lot easier than trying to get a torch down in there um, get that cleaned off real good and then uh, we'll put, start putting some blocking in this would be an important step um, getting this blocking in properly make sure it's snug and you get it up under that flange against the uh, drain pipe uh, so that subfloor uh, plywood and stuff has something to sit on and a couple flat blocks on either side just to help support that as well and get it all screwed down real good um, you can pre-drill if you need to uh, the important thing is getting it up tight to that pipe to support your new floor that's going under there uh, getting it all screwed down uh, nice and flush with your old framing and then um, I cut my square of three quarters, the first layer that's got to go back on. Uh, I'm going to slide it from left to right, or right to left, I mean, and uh, measure that out. We're going to cut that slot out, uh, put that arc on there. If you got a piece of scrap pipe, uh, you can use that <clears throat> to make that arc. And then slide your first piece in, whichever way you have to slide. Left to right, right to left, front to back, however it works out best. Uh, just make sure you get your um, underlayment pieces up against that pipe. So when you screw that flange, you got something to screw to. Uh, that's why that framing is so important under there. So then after you get all that screwed off real good and the next layer cleaned off, uh, this next layer here is a 5 8 um, which is I overcut both sides in the front there a little bit uh, so my patch seams aren't overlapping so we'll cut this slot in this from uh, uh, front to back so I got my piece cut I just laid it in there so I can mark where the pipes were you can leave a little bit of room you know an eighth inch or so it doesn't have to be that tight because I got another layer going on top of this yet um, and then measure to your pipes for your notch and we'll cut it long ways that way like I said mostly just so your patch seams aren't lining up I happened to find this lid to a putty container that, that actually ended up being the exact size I needed um, I didn't have a scrap piece of pipe so that works um, and then once you cut out where the pipe is I can use the cutout piece uh, for the patch in the back so yeah that piece there I'll save and once I cut out for this little pipe here um, I'll save that little piece to put in after the fact <coughs> excuse me this one's gonna be a little snugger uh, this plywood this OSB stuff will flex a little bit uh, so I got a little beater block there to, to help it along without smashing it and then we'll get those uh, 
other pieces in there and like I said make sure it gets up under that flange um, and then get it we'll get it all screwed down it's real important that everything works out level whether it's three quarter five eighths you know seven sixteenths fifteen sixteenths whatever ends up being uh, you gotta just make sure that's flat or your floor is gonna look weird it's gonna have a dip in it um, got some uh, corrosion resistant screws there with some pretty big heads uh, they're actually tap cons um, got a real good bite into all that wood right there so that's super solid and I got another layer going on top of that which is quarter inch underlayment for a sheet of vinyl that's going on here uh, test fit that a couple of times and then got it all stapled down it's sitting just a hair proud maybe an eighth inch up uh, which once I get my flooring on it should be uh, should be real nice so yeah, I hope that helps. Let me know if you get any questions.